Sheila Matthew. How could I put my love for you into words? You are everything good in this world and the next. In my wildest dreams, I never imagined that my future husband would be as kind and as genuine as you have proved to be. I remember walking down the stairs to meet you on our first date, and it was so daunting to me. I was terrified of getting my heart broken, and I was craving a man who was strong, faithful, and true to his word. I never knew that when I was walking down to that stranger of a man who was smiling and holding flowers looking back at me, that I was foreshadowing the rest of my life. There was no certain moment that proved to me that you were the one for me. It was all the little things that showed me that you were all I have ever hoped and prayed for. This past week really opened my eyes to how worth the wait was. Every lonely night, every heartbreak, and every prayer that I thought was going unanswered at the time led me to you. And honey, you are worth all of it and so much more. When we first met, I genuinely thought to myself, wow, there's no chance I'll land a second date. She's way too pretty for me. <laughs> Thank God I was wrong and landed date number two. As time went on, it seemed like we had more and more in common. Our beliefs, viewpoints, and dreams seemed to line up perfectly. I started to suspect that you were the one during all of our late night phone calls when we would talk for hours about God and religion. To see your genuine questions and see you seek God's truth, has tremendously helped me grow in my faith. Before you, I had never met anyone with a desire to know more about God. It was the honor of my life to lead you to Christ and guide you in your relationship with Him. There isn't enough paper in the world to list all the things that I love about you. Obviously, you're the most beautiful woman that God's created. I love how much you care about your siblings, the way that they all look up to you, and the amount of respect that they have for you sure tells a lot about your character. I love that you aren't afraid to sing along in the truck as loud as you can, even though you never know all the words. I love how you crave to start a family and to be a mother, and there's no doubt in my mind that you will fill that role exceptionally. Most of all, I love the heart that you have for the Lord. You challenge me to be the best man of God I can be. You're the most spontaneous woman I've ever met. You just met me. It was five minutes and you were asking me to install a doorbell and shelves in your apartment. <laughs> And then we'd only known each other a couple of weeks. I had to pull an all-nighter at the shop. You were on the interstate at 11.30 p.m. to drive an hour and a half and stay up with me. We'd only been dating for a month, and it was, let's go get sized for wedding rings. <laughs> Two months, let's drive three hours away and get a puppy. These moments make my life exciting with you, and I'm looking forward to the ones yet to go. I want to look back one day as we're sitting in our rocking chairs in our 90s and say that we're proud of how it turned out, and we didn't have a single regret. I will never forget the advice I once saw that said to never try and change the things in your partner that made you fall in love with them. I have fallen in love with all of you, Caleb. I promise to stop and talk to every single person in town, if need be, just so I can be reminded of your excitement for people. I will sit up with you as you work late into the night, just so I can admire your work ethic and your determination to succeed one more time. I will never get tired of taking care of you, because if I still have that privilege in life, then that means I still have my best friend with me. You have done so much for me, and I am reminded every day of all the reasons I first fell in love with you. You showed me who Jesus is, and you are constantly pushing me to get closer to Him. I will spend the rest of my life loving you as hard as I can, and even on our most difficult days, I will never forget the joy we feel right now. I am so hopeful for our future and our life together. God has taken such good care of us through this season, and I do not doubt that he will take care of us in this next one. I vow to never leave your side in this life. I will stand by you through all that life has in store for us. I promise to take care of you on the easiest days and on the ones that seem impossible to get through. There is no one else that I want by my side through all the good and bad, through the happiest moments, and through all the joy that life will have to offer us. Can it?
Just keep 